Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Rabia and I'm a cloud developer advocate and today I have a special guest, Thomas Lewis. He's the principal cloud advocate for green software engineering. Welcome, Thomas. Hi, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yes, uh, really excited. We're going to be talking about something incredibly important uh, like environment sustainability. And um, forgive me, um, uh, Thomas, but I don't understand what green software engineering is. So we could start a bit by understanding what that means. Is it like saving the bees or uh, I'm not entirely sure. So uh, just give us some insight on what it is. And then maybe we could go ahead and discuss about how AI can help uh, with sustainabilities for companies, etc., and we might even build one um, agent. I'll show you the one we've built together um, towards the end. So there's a lot of things packed, but we want to make sure we understand from the basics, from the expert like you, Thomas. Oh, absolutely. So uh, when technologists hear about sustainability, um, they usually are hearing about what I call big S sustainability. Uh, this is typically about saving the planet or um, building electric and water resources near a data center to be used more efficiently. But green software actually focuses on how we create carbon aware applications, whether on a device or in the cloud so that we create more efficient systems, um, we actually reduce our costs and have less impact on resources uh, from energy to water to uh, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really cool. Um, so how does like sustainability reports help companies or uh, how does it all fit in in, a, in an AI agent on a technical world where AI is helping companies with these reports to come up with plans and uh, whatnot? Oh, great question. So basically each year, hyperscalers like Microsoft, Amazon, and Google, um, they issue these sustainability reports that provide data on their sustainability efforts. And these are all encompassing. Um, these can easily take an average reader about four to six hours just to read one of them. Um, that's not including taking notes and trying to remember everything from these 80 to 90 page uh, reports. So something like an AI agent could provide a quick and thoughtful summary on the topics of interest, um, such as comparing scope three emissions amongst the three hyperscalers, or even help us in understanding sustainability vernacular, such as what is meant by scope three emission? Yes, yeah, so I think everyone would love to learn how to build one of these AI agents um, so that they can easily summarize, analyze, and understand these types of reports. Um, I know that we got together and we decided that we should build an agent uh, yeah, with yeah. all these reports. And it's fun because there are these many reports from Amazon, from Microsoft, et cetera, that we've put in a SharePoint folder. And we're asking the agent to focus on this data um, and give us uh, the insights and whatever we're looking for. So we will go ahead and show you how we uh, built this one. The source code for this is available and I would put the links um, as well, where you can find this sustainability um, agent. We call it the ESA, right? The Environmental Sustainability Agent. Yes. For now, it's ESA. <laughs> For now. So, yeah, exactly. So first off, I'm going to show you, Thomas, how we did uh, get started by creating agents using Teams Toolkit. And then we will go right ahead into the, the one that we built and do a demo from there. Does that sound good? Oh, that sounds awesome to me, right? Okay, so we're here in Visual Studio Code, and I'm just gonna zoom a bit. And I've got this in, uh, extension installed called Teams Toolkit. You can go to extensions in here and type in Teams Toolkit. Um, and that's the one I've installed. Uh, once it's installed, you've got this icon you can click on and you can create a new app. So if you've already created Teams application, you're probably familiar with this wizard. Uh, but if you're not, then here we are. Um, so we've got you know options to create an agent, a custom engine agent. We're not talking about it now. Here we're going to create an agent that connects to a SharePoint um, and gets all the information from which we call the declarative agent. Um, so let's go ahead and click that and creating one with no plugins. Plugins are basically if you've got an API, you could connect that into this agent and call real time data. Uh, for now, we don't have that. So let's go ahead and choose the default um, uh, folder and I can call this sustain. 
vulnerability just for now to show you how it's done and you've got a new window yeah um with all the necessary files needed to create your agent so now this folder is what we're going to focus on here you can see that we've got a name description and instructions and here is where we will pass our uh, system prompt and then let's go ahead and have a look at the text file so here it's just a very placeholder kind of uh, um, information or a system prompt but i do have um, the prompt that we use for our agent. So let's go ahead and figure that out. I'm just going to paste this here. Well, it's too big now to see. Are you able to see now? I can see it. Cool. So I've, I'm calling it you're a sustainability agent and a subject matter expert in a corporate environmental sustainability and blah, blah, blah. There's an entire text of how I'm explaining what its role is, et cetera. Um, um, and uh, this one, this is how we actually put the instruction in. And then there is a manifest file. And here we have the instructions, but we can also add conversation starters and the SharePoint site where we're going to put um, our reports in. So you can see that uh, in here I added conversation starters um because this is really important right we just talked about this thomas that most of the times users don't know what to prompt and how to interact with the agent to get the right answers um so this helps um and then you have the capability to connect it with onedrive you also have other capabilities like web search you could put a website link um up to four i think for now um, you also could connect it with graph connectors you could connect uh, you could uh, add code interpreters, image generators, et cetera. So there are these other capabilities you could add. But for now, for me and Thomas, we only need to connect with the reports uh, and to a SharePoint site. And that's what we're doing. Now, we've seen um, how you could build from scratch. And probably only take, took a few minutes, right, Thomas? But it wasn't that easy. It, it was easy. And what I like about it is that it's it's very, you know, it's very approachable, right? I, I think a lot of times when people think, oh, I'm going to go build an AI agent, they think <laughs> that they need to go uh, to university and get, you know, a degree in, in AI. And with this, yeah. it makes it very easy to say, hey, here's some prompts that I have that can kind of get you started. Um, and then at the same time, pointing to, you know, a data source basically yeah. to, to get that information because typically the way that it works is you're not given sort of like that data you know, file. It's usually, oh yeah, it's over here in SharePoint or it's over here. Yeah. So I think the approach is really very approachable. All right. So what I'm going to show you next, Thomas, is our um, project that we did that is already out there uh, in the link that I've shown below. Um, which is the same thing. We've just added all the configuration, et cetera. So we've got these documents uh, uploaded into the SharePoint site. And as you can see here, I've got um, the SharePoint site mentioned in here as well. So this is where we've put all our reports. We, you know, the instructions, we put the same instruction when we created one um, and the conversation starters, everything is in there. And what I have to do is just provision it. I've already been linked into the tenant where I have the copilot access, all that is done. Let's go ahead and do a demo now. All right, so here we are. We're uh, in the um, Teams application with copilot uh, in here, but this is an agent. So we're able to pick the agent and have an in context and in immersive in, uh, interaction with the agent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, open up our ESA um all right so what should we do now i say let's go with the uh, scope three emissions the prompt that's already been created here yep. because i think that this is a great way to sort of see like hey we have not only different documents but there's sort of this vernacular that folks in green software use um and in sustainability overall um so yeah let's let's try that yep all good so this this one is what are effective strategies for tracking and reducing scope three emission across a complex supply chain. So let's find out what the agent has to tell us. And you, pro you, and or you are the experts. So you have to tell me if this is a, a valid response from the agent. So let's see. 
All right. So I can see that it's um, referred to all the documents that we uploaded into SharePoint. Um, and it's got some points. So I, I would let you be the judge and let me know if this makes sense. Yeah, at first glance, uh, absolutely, this uh, this makes sense. Um, and, and this is the challenge, right? Because um, supply chains are complex. And when you talk about hyperscalers such as ourselves, um, th it is very, very complex. So it's nice to have something that will kind of look at data um, in the kind of vector that it's in your interest is. So mm -hmm. sustainability. Um, and then, like I said, it can drill down into those scope three emissions and kind of how to approach Approach though. So yeah, when I look at this, this really does make sense. And I love the fact that, you know, we can even go deeper, you know, if we wanted to. Yeah, exactly. And I love these citations as well. You can go directly take you to the report as well. So you don't have to, okay, search in a document. So where did I find this point, etc. So that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, and I think our agent did the trick. So if anybody yeah. wants to figure out how to uh, get some information on how to build this or even try it out in their own tenant um, with these reports that we have, they could even have other reports downloaded, right, Thomas, that they could just go online and get these reports. Yeah, they can grab a, a bunch of historical data as well. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for um, uh, for this session. And um, I loved it. I loved working with you as well for this agent. And I'm looking forward to others trying it out. Thank you so much, Thomas. Oh, thank you.